Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Daily Grind. How you doing out there this morning? Good, I hope. Hope you're having a great morning. Hope you have a great day. All day, today. Yay, yay. Well, I got one for you today, chummy. The blame game. Holy moly, mother of God, is that in full swing, the blame game. Everybody's blaming everybody for everything and... Nobody wants to take responsibility. It's freaking crazy. I remember growing up, we had neighbors that were Democrats. We had neighbors that were Republicans all in the neighborhood. And everybody got along. And nobody blamed everybody else for the whole friggin' demise of the country. It was, it's, it's friggin' insane. It's insane right now. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. People are hate, they hate each other. One party hates the other party and it, it's just gotten absolutely ridiculously out of hand responsibility the ability to respond when something happens you have the ability to respond you can respond in a way that lifts you and everybody else up or you can respond in a way that tears you and everybody else down it's your responsibility how you respond it's your responsibility for the things you do and how you act this blame game crap has got to stop it's just ridiculous United we stand, divided we fall. My friends, we are falling, and we are falling fast and hard. It's it's so out of hand. This country is so crazy right now. It saddens me to see how much hate there is out there. I don't remember that kind of hate growing up. I remember communities where people helped each other out. No matter what, it didn't matter. It just didn't matter. Let me ask you something. If you're a hardcore Republican, and your child is laying on his, on his in the hospital dying, and it needs some blood... And the only blood that's there came from a Democrat. Are you going to refuse it? Or well, flip that around. If you're a hardcore Democrat and your kid's laying on the table and they're ready to die, and the only blood's from a Republican, are you going to refuse it and let your child die because it's from the opposite party? Or well, how about if it's a black person? Your child's a white person laying there. The only blood came from a black person. You going to let that kid die because you don't want that blood in them? Or if it's a black person, the only blood came from a white person? Or are you going to take that blood so your child can live? That's going to make a little bit of difference right there, isn't it? Huh? This race race crap and this political crap, that all ends right there when something like that's going to happen, isn't it? I mean, come on, people. There's just no time for hate. Hate is just, hate is, is destroying this country right now. Hate's destroying people. It is, I, I, I'm telling you, some of the phone calls I get from people that I work with and I'm talking them to and helping out, Man, it just makes me sad to, to, to feel and hear and see the hate and the anger. And I know we're, we're going through some crazy times, but that's, that's the time we should pull together. I mean, that's what made this country great was that we pulled together and helped each other out and built something great here. We don't need to destroy it by hating each other. That's, that's what's happening. I mean, come on, people. Hate is no good. We got to... We gotta, cut some of that hate out and get back to love it doesn't matter if your friends are republican or democrat or opposite of you jeez them grow get along people come on you're not going to get anywhere by responding with hate response ability the way you respond makes a difference if you respond with hate and negativity and cutting other people down and just tearing them up you're not going to get anywhere what's that do that puts somebody on defense and they fight back how are you going to get anywhere that way you can't win a war when you're fighting with your brother Great song, by the way. Truth. You can't win a war when you're fighting with your brother. It isn't going to happen. It isn't going to happen. We've got to start caring more for each other and loving more each other and taking responsibility. Respond in the way that's going to lift you and everybody around you up, not in a way that's going to tear everything down. Otherwise, it's just going to keep going. Hey, listen, I love all you guys out there. I really do. That's why I do these videos, because I like to see people getting better and improving the quality of life and just uh, spreading more love and kindness and help and hope and and I hope this helped you out and I hope it can change your mind and you can think about things a little bit differently and anyway hate's making me sad I hate to see it the division let's let's start getting back to the way things used to be and being communities and helping each other out and loving one another I think that's what's going to solve the problems here love is what's going to do it not hate so listen I hope you have a great day and uh, hope this helped you out and I'll see you tomorrow